Sheffield United bring anyone in before the transfer window closes tonight? I'll tell you what, shall we hear from Chris Wilder right now? Yeah, go on. Go on then. All right. But position specific, and, and, and we know, I think, you know, even when we go out of, that, out of the game for a short period of time, we're, we're still in, involved and in the game and watching and seeing and picking up bits and pieces and, and knowledge and who's moving and who's available. And I think as well, you know, always wanting to, to get back in into the game as people talk about. Um, you have to keep your finger on the pulse as well, so yeah, we have done. So yeah, I mean, listen, there's, there's a lot of things, especially when we walked through the door, uh, what, 10 games ago, that we, we, we wanted to affect, and uh, and a lot of them we have affected. There's some that we need to affect a little bit more, um, but we're, we're delighted with the attitude of the, of, of, of the group, and, and as I said, of all the players that we've, we've brought in, Ben Barrett and Diaz, Ivo Grevic, uh, and hopefully, um, the uh, player that I can't mention yes. until he gets over the line <laughs> today um, will we'll have the attributes of a Sheffield United player and, and help us. It's about, isn't it, about the clubs who have those players at this moment in time. They've got to want to let them go as well, hasn't it? And that is another spanner in the works. Oh, I, you know, I've had a player this, uh, in the last two or three days talk about he doesn't want two relegations on his CV. So, you know, that, that was, um, that was uh, a great comment for me. Because straight away I went, oh, fabulous, that's, he's not for me straight away. So, you know, you, yeah, you've got to obviously attract the player. Um, you've got to identify the, identify the player and, and what does he fit in to you, what does he give you from, from a tactical, technical point of view, from a physical point of view. But the big thing for me is this group and the mentality. He has to fit in with the culture and the mentality of the, of the group and, and, and be able to deal with that. So, um, yeah, us identifying. Uh, trying to um, attract the right players and they wanting to come here. Ben Ben Diaz was a was a great example. You know, met Ben and and talked with him and, and he wanted to come, which was great. And then obviously, which I believe is the most difficult part is the uh, the parent club because you know they've got to make sure that they've got players that are in the building that can cover. Uh, and there's all sorts of other different sort of scenarios as well. And um, you know, and, um, and and that's obviously the the final bit for me is uh, is getting their approval.